Season 2 of Overwatch is officially one week away, and with that we've just received a bunch of information about Season 2, from new skins to new limited time modes and more. But if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So as we all know, Ramatre is going to be the new tank hero for Season 2. I've already done a video explaining what he can do and why he's going to shake up the meta if you haven't seen that already. The devs are describing him as a tempo take since he's going to have the ability to change up the tempo of his playstyle on command. We still don't have any information on if he's still going to be locked behind the battle pass but at this point in time, he is still going to be unlocked at tier 55 in the battle pass. And with the introduction of Ramacha, we're also receiving a new map, Shambali. Escort will be played on this map and it's going to be played during nighttime. It looks very visually appealing. One thing that I really like about this map is that there, it looks like there's a lot of natural cover. Maybe that's because I'm a Cassidy main and he just has absolutely no mobility, but maps with a lot of natural cover are just more appealing to me. So this one is definitely a W. I know one thing that a lot of people are either really hyped for or just not hyped at all is going to be the battle pass rewards. Now, Overwatch has been on the receiving end of a lot of criticism lately due to the prices. But if I'm being entirely honest, this battle pass looks really good. And on top of that, Junker Queen will be getting this season's Mythic skin. She'll be rocking the Zeus Junker Queen variant. And just like Genji's Mythic skin, this will be customizable. Other mythological skins include Medusa's Widowmaker, Cyclops' Roadhog, Poseidon's Ramatra, Minotaur Reinhardt, Hermes' Lucio, and Cerberus Farah. Also, to keep up with the theme, we've got the Battle for Olympus limited time mode. This will be available January 5th. It's hard to tell specifically what this game mode is, but I'm going to assume it's going to have something to do with control. But it also looks like there's going to be some sort of special ability that happens during the match. Since when Junker Green uses her shout, it actually brings down lightning on top of the Roadhog and the Reinhardt. It also looks like Roadhog is launching like Sigma's rock. I'm not sure if that's his right click or not. But one thing that I am pretty certain on is that this is going to be exclusively for the limited time mode. So I'm guessing that each hero is going to have some sort of different ability than they normally would have. Just like Junker Queen shout dealing damage and Roadhog launching a literal rock, I'm guessing that other heroes are going to do other things as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And it looks like they're going to hold up their word on giving out skins during the event as we do have a holiday festive event coming up. As they said in a previous blog post, they wanted to give players the opportunity to earn more skins in a free to play manner, meaning that skins can be earned during each event. And it looks like the event that they're going to be doing this in so far is going to be a Christmas one. So you'll have the opportunity to unlock what looks like a gingerbread bastion. And this one looks like it can maybe be like an ice queen echo. Brig also looks like she has some sort of ice themed variant for her skin. You've got Mae rocking this traditional holiday themed skin. So if Blizzard holds true to their word, it looks like these will be all skins that you can unlock for free. Lastly, it looks like a few other skins that we might see coming out is this gothic Kiriko skin, or maybe it's like a punk Kiriko skin. And lastly, this Genji kind of looks like it's like a streetwear Genji or, or something, but honestly, I think it looks really nice. Overall, the upcoming season looks like a huge W and I'm excited to get to play it. But let me know down in the comments what you are most excited for for season two. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on it. And if you want to see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.